Alhamdulillahi wa barakat. Peace and love, mercy and blessings upon you. I'm going to do Zoom now with a teacher. And you have to have a pen or pencil. We're learning about um, manners and behavior. And we can easily have good manners with the people around us, our friends, relatives, uh, even non-Muslims, because naturally we have developed good manners. Okay, so let's pay our father for what he has done for us, bringing us up nurturing us, giving us advice, knowledge, wisdom, money, etc. To choosing the best of schools for us. And the list goes on. We cannot repay our father for you know the what he the what he has done for us to sacrifice, etc. Unless, as we learn from the hadith, unless we, he is a slave and you buy him and free him and uh, having slaves this was a practice during the time of the Prophet ﷺ because of the situation and we can understand how someone freeing their father from slavery is a big thing because their father is entrapped his whole life. He's from morning till night. He is trapped. It's like kind of like prison. And you freed him. You, you know, change his whole life. Now he can do what he wants, uh, and he can pursue his goals, etc. Today, with the. Uh, next hadith and as I've been sending you the link we are using other al mufrad if you don't have the book this is the link just click on the first Uh, 
Sahih Bukhari and Muslim. That the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, one of the major sins is to curse one's parents. And then he was submitted, O oh, Messenger of Allah, how can a man curse his own parents? And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when someone curses the parents of another man, who in return abuses the former's father. Yeah, so you're swearing at someone's, you're swearing at someone's parents and they swear back at your parents. So the hadith goes on to tell Allah was saying, and when someone abuses the mother of another man, who in return abuses his own mother. So that's how he curses his own parents. He's, he's cursing his own parents. Yeah, in that manner. And this is something that is common, especially when we go to school. We we have this bad habit, you know, of looking around and then you start swearing at the parents, the other person's parents. You say the F word to the parents. We, we call the parents using the V word and etc. Yeah. And this even happens with some the Bengali culture, some of the Bengali people. What they do is they have this swear word and it means they when they get angry with someone, some of them, what they do is they call the other person the the, the child of a pig. Yeah, and then that person curses them back. Yeah? So we have to be careful. Because if we, this would be cursing our own parents. Yeah? If we know that someone, we're going to be cursing someone, we're going to say that our own parents. Then we are cursing our own parents. B B B B Yeah, to love, love um, your grandparents, your 